My mom had a grape in her yard. She no longer has it. Uh, it was a small red grape, round, not uh, oblong. So not a table grape. Um, and she made juice out of it. Uh, but she didn't get it strained very well. Uh, so I'm straining it. She wants to make some grape jelly. So we're putting it through some cloth. <clears throat> That's just something I've got going on one side. I'm uh, kind of making soup. This is the uh, the stems from some broccoli and cauliflower. Uh, and what I've done is I've uh, boiled it down. I'm going to take, uh, and I'll leave the moisture, the liquid. <clears throat> and what I'm going to do is use this immersion blender, which I like immersion blenders. I just don't like this one. It gets stuff in between the metal and the plastic, so yet cleaning it's a real bear. But I'm going to blend this, pause it to do that. The thing about uh, broccoli, not so much cauliflower, but definitely about broccoli, <clears throat> is that most of your waste is actually typically thrown away because people only like the florets uh, for eating. And I hate wasting. Uh, growing up, uh, the term waste not want not uh, was quite typical at my house. Um, I'm going to get another knife. So because of that, uh, <coughs> pardon me, uh, I got to use this. The flavor in these stems is wonderful. Uh, and it's got good bulk makes wonderful soups. Um, I like to make a cream soup and the way I do the cream soup is with some cream cheese. Uh, I actually have these are the flowers that I'm going to steam uh, or mom's going to steam. I prepped them for her. Uh, but I like making the soup. That's why I tend to always prep these for her. And it does make a good soup. Uh, all I'll put in it is <clears throat> the uh, stems that I've just blended. The cream cheese, which I'll cook down in it. And then if there are any leftover of the flowers, uh, I'll put them in at the end and again run it through with the, the immersion blender. Got the cream cheese cut in. Uh, going to put it back on the stove on lo uh, low, medium low setting. Uh, just let that m the cheese melt uh, and a little bit of the moisture come out. <clears throat> we'll get back to that. I'm also doing an, another project for my mom. I'm going to clean up a bit and we'll get back to that. Typically this bucket is what I would be using. Uh, I'm peeling these. These are frozen bananas that mom saved. This has been in her freezer for a while. This one not so long. Uh, but she asked me to peel some so that she can make some banana bread. Uh, because the bucket is being used for any potential juice leaks, I'm going to use the colander. Uh, but I guess I'm going to Try to peel bananas. Can't 
can't remember how many she said she needed, how many cups. But I'm just going to pill what's here. And if I need more, I'll get more. And if there's too many, we'll make something different. This is definitely not a fun uh, process. Uh, but again, once again, it comes down to that waste not, want not. Mom not wasting the bananas so she doesn't have to end up wanting them when she's in the mood to make banana bread. You can actually see here that the banana itself, the inside, hasn't lost much color but the pill itself has turned dark. That's uh, something that people always freak out when the bananas start going dark. Uh, and so they toss them without even looking inside, or a lot of people do. Uh, the thing is, if you store your bananas in the refrigerator, they will go dark on the outside, but the flesh stays just as good as it was before. <clears throat> I've got a dog talking. I'm going to get back to this, but I doubt I'll bore you with it. This is actually my first experience peeling frozen bananas. Uh, most of my life, or at least as far back as I can remember, mom has saved bananas but she'd normally peel them before she froze them and just put them in uh, freezable containers storage containers I don't know how many of these I did uh, eight or nine I think but have a gonna have a few cups when these are mashed uh, for whatever recipe she's going to do. Um, but, uh, it funny thing, uh, Mom has always saved the bananas and whatnot to use later. And I am willing, well actually I know, I could walk to my mom's uh, freezer right now, open it, and there would be storage containers in there with, <coughs> pardon me, frozen shredded zucchini that someone gave her zucchini and she didn't use it. And so instead of letting it go to waste, she shredded it and put it in containers and froze it. Uh, there's actually, I believe it's August 8th. Uh, uh, there's national uh, leave zucchini on your neighbor's porch day or something to that effect. I believe I saw it on the old farmer's almanac, almanac.com. But um, I'm going to go take these out, uh, put these bananas in the fridge for mom to make the banana bread out of. Uh, something mom got a recipe when she was in South Carolina of being a nanny uh, when I was in my I believe late teens early 20s uh, she went and was a, a nanny for a while uh, and she got a recipe for what's called a fresh banana bunt cake <clears throat> I don't think mom's used fresh bananas in it in eons that I can remember she's always used the frozen ones Maybe one day uh, we'll get a chance to make that fresh banana bunt cake uh, and put it up on a video. Uh, for now, I think that's it. Uh, I'm going to clean up and get ready. I think she said she wants to eat in about an hour. So I'm going to see about helping her get her food done. She's at church. So we have some quiet for a bit in the house. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, like, subscribe, do whatever. I'm not really that big of a salesman. I'm not pushy. Uh, you know, but hey, if you like, please feel free to uh, show that you liked. Uh, share it if you like. Whatever. Again, thanks for watching.
night before last, Mom and I uh, made some jelly. This is actually an apple jelly, but it's a cinnamon apple jelly. Uh, has a wonderful red flavor, red color, wonderful cinnamon flavor. Uh, but making this the other day uh, got the whole uh, grape juice thing going. Someone had given this uh, plain Greek yogurt to mom and it was just sitting in her fridge unopened. <clears throat> well past date. But I found a recipe to make uh, yogurt cheese. A uh, half teaspoon of salt with this and then you put it through a cheesecloth hanging on a door handle it said. But mom had these yogurt cheese uh, strainers <clears throat> and I actually separated it roughly in half uh, and made the yogurt cheese <clears throat> this is actually the second time I've strained it because I did it once and then I put it in a bowl and it uh, had more whey coming out so I put a coffee filter uh, and then put it in uh, there is some whey there in the bottom uh, but <clears throat> what I did with this if I can find it here is I took uh, this yogurt cheese that I made and I put it with some salsa and just mixed it up about even parts uh, and just mixed it to make a dip. I should have used this probably in the soup that I made. Uh, didn't think about it. It would have uh, melted faster. <clears throat> but that's basically what I've made is a, a cream cheese or a spread out of this uh, plain yogurt. <clears throat> uh, just one of the things I like playing in the kitchen uh, and with it being uh, New Year's Eve one more thing to add for after um, I was just doing these this juice still uh, and I actually like how this one this is a cur jar or a ball excuse me ball mason narrow mouth but it tells the cups and the ounces on the side. Uh, it actually has some stuff on the outside of the bottle here I need to wipe off. But three cups, 24 ounces, and there's marks. That's something that's not on the newer ones. But just something that I did notice and, and like. Uh, again, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Share, like, subscribe. You know the drill.